Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to do a dedicated video all about how to master the front tuck. So whether you're trying to figure out how to front tuck a chunky sweater into jeans or a shirt into kind of a silkier skirt, hopefully in this video I have all of those techniques covered. I'm just gonna be showing you guys different ways that I typically front tuck my shirts and you probably see these very often in all of my try on hauls as well. Um, okay, so here I have a little skirt that hits at my waist, and then this sweater is more cropped. So I think the key with these, if you want just a very simple tuck, is you want to grab the middle of the sweater, and then you slide it straight down, just the end, into the skirt, okay? Just that end goes in, and then the rest just hangs out, just like that. So it kind of ends up folding over itself. Um, you don't want to tuck too much of the top of the shirt or else it won't come out and fold over. And I feel like that's the overall look that you're going for. So, so just to show you guys again, you take the center of the sweater and you put just that in the middle of the skirt. You don't want to over tuck and then the rest folds over just like that. And it's not like, don't worry about it making it perfect. The whole point of this is to make it look like you're not trying, I guess. So um, a crop sweater, I feel like, is the absolute easiest sweater just because you have less to deal with. So that's how I typically do all the front tucks, but I wanna show you guys a couple other examples as well. This next outfit is a very extra way to show you guys this hack, but I actually put this on for a photo shoot earlier and did it. So this is when you have a very nice like skirt and you don't really wanna tuck it in but if you tuck it in, it's going to end up being too bulky. Well, this is going to sound crazy, but you can actually tuck the sweater into your bra. So I did that earlier. You just tuck it in. Obviously can't show you guys everything here. So there you go. Now it looks like it's tucked in, but it's actually just tucked up under your bra and then it folds over and then you don't have any bulk through here. So say you don't necessarily want to tuck it into your bra, you're just not comfortable with it. This is, in my opinion, the best way to tuck in sweaters into skirts. And you could probably even do it for jeans too, but I typically just do it for skirts. So, so I'm gonna have to cut my face out of this to show you, but you wanna grab a belt, preferably one that's a little skinnier. If you have one that's the same color as your shirt, that would probably be ideal, but you ideally don't want anyone to see the belt in general. So it doesn't necessarily matter what belt you use. So what you're gonna do is put the belt around your waist and you want it to be comfortable. It doesn't have to be super tight. Okay, I'm actually gonna do one tighter. There you go, okay? So then what you're gonna do is pull your sweater up and over the belt. I don't think it necessarily looks bad like this. It kind of gives it a peplum style. But if you're not wanting to see that at all, then just keep pulling up and over. I just wanna make sure you go all the way around to where it covers that, all the way in the front and back. And then there you go. So you have the belt underneath, just have it pulled up and over, and it looks like it's tucked in all the way around, but it's not actually tucked into the skirt. So now I put my jeans on and I'm just gonna go through a bunch of different tops and show you guys how I would tuck that particular one. I hope I can cover what you guys would mostly face, but if there's any tops that you're like, I still don't know how to do this one, comment down below, let me know. I can always make part two or do something on Instagram stories. So this t-shirt, I typically like baggier shirts. Like I don't love tight fitting shirts and then trying to tuck it in. You kind of need like room to make it work or else it won't fold over on itself. I'm gonna take the very center of my t-shirt and then just barely tuck that in. So it's really not even going in far at all. It's just taking that center part and just tucking that little bit in. So you have all this fabric here that's not tucked in and then it just folds over like that. So I feel like that's probably key. Um, if you're having trouble with it, you might be tucking in too much material or tucking in the top too high. So you really just need the very end there. Like I, it, 
there's maybe like an inch of fabric in the center and then the rest just kind of folds out and that's what gives that look and it doesn't stick out either I don't love that look <laughs> you have like a thick sweater and it's just like bulging out yeah it's not the look I'm going for so I won't tuck those in and if you want to see how to do the knots in your tops then I'll link my fashion hacks video some of these hacks were mentioned in there but this video is just dedicated to the the front tucks and mastering that so if you haven't seen my fashion hacks video I left a lot of really helpful tips in that video as well that I'll link below or you may want to refresh on it if it's been a little while since you've watched I also just wanted to show you an example of a shirt that I would not tuck in and this is just personal preference but I find that there's certain sweaters that just for me don't work and this is one of them so every time I try to tuck this in I try to make it work I just don't love the tail situation that it leaves behind because this one has a split on the side so when I do the little front tuck I'm just left with these tails and I don't know I just don't love how it essentially is just like you know framing this area <laughs> um, yeah so this is one instance where I would just skip on the front tuck uh, you could do like a full tuck if you wanted to tuck in those sides but I personally just like the look of it better longer so here's like just kind of a flowier mid cropped sweater it's not super cropped here's my waistline through there and it's a little flower flowier but also a little more stiff so I just wanted to show you guys how I would tuck this pretty much the same thing so again take the center of the sweater and then just barely tuck that in and then I like to fluff it a little bit. So for these, I kind of like that V look. It's just because it doesn't just end, I feel like there's a purpose to it. So with this one, it still has a little bit of the V, but I feel like it doesn't look as awkward because it doesn't just end on both sides since it's not slit on the sides through here. And there's a little bubbling through here. But I feel like from the front, it's more flattering to have that front tuck just because you can see your hips a little bit more and it's not drawing all the material to the widest part of my body. So that's why I typically do the front tuck just because I find it's a little more flattering. Plus, I feel like it gives it a little more style. So again, just to show you guys up a little closer, take the center and then just barely tuck that in. So there's that. You can see I didn't even tuck a ton of that in because it is a little thicker. And then it did, the rest just folds over top of it. So next I have this big chunky sweater and this is actually one of the best selling sweaters from November and it's from Walmart. I love the color and it's also very warm. So grab the center there and really that's all you need is just that little bit and then put that right in there and then the rest will fold over. Um, so with these, the thicker the sweater, I feel, I find the more material you'll have kind of draped in the front, which I just kind of go like that to make it look a little more flattering. Or another trick, if you are just not liking how it's rolling over, you, what you can do is grab your waistline here, then you're going to tuck all of that material in. So this is the only time I actually do more and then pull it out. That way you don't have as much folding over and it lays a little bit nicer. All right, so say you have a long shirt and I love wearing this with leggings, but if I wanted to dress it up a little bit and do a front tuck, my little tip for that is to get the little clear elastics. I showed you guys these in my fashion hacks video. So you can buy a pack on Amazon. I'll link an option down below. So you want a little clear hair tie. So grab your little clear elastic and I have to go up over my butt. I can't just pull it like this. We got to go over the booty and then what you're going to do is take that elastic and then just do two loops or so should be enough. Okay. Now you have this tail. You're going to tuck in the tail. Okay. So now from here, you just have to play with it. For one, if you want it to be kind of a more fitted look, you can just leave it like this, 
or you can kind of pull it apart a little bit if you want a little bit of a flowier look. And now, that's like the easiest way I found to tuck in really long shirts and then it stays put too. You don't have to worry about messing with it all night. So. All right, y'all, those are all the examples that I have for you today. If you have any other pairings that I did not show or certain combination, just reach out to me over on Instagram and I'd be happy to give you some tips or tricks or even show you over on my Instagram stories. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.